everyone, my name is Tomi Wellard. I'm an independent stamping app demonstrator in Australia and in Japan. Now, this is my first uh, Facebook Live in English. I've done this a lot in my mother language, Japanese, but this is really my first time in English. So, anything can happen. <laughs> anyway, I hope I can keep remember speaking in English to you guys. Um, anyway, so this is what I'm going to show you how to make this my first ever Facebook Live. This is actually the swap that I have. I think this paper is sort of doing strange for the camera. Um, this is a swap I made for a early April um, on stage local in Sydney and I have been asked how to make this little envelope so it's actually easy for me to show you than explaining in English so I just decided to do a Facebook live now I use this um, retiring envelope paper it's much thinner than the regular um, designer series paper so I don't know how we go with the designer series paper but um, I'm gonna try with the regular designer series paper now this is out of six by six inch, uh, inches but I'm gonna use 12 by 12 to show you this uh, probably that's much easier for you to see okay now it's really easy it's just the origami things okay now first of all oh by the way definitely you need a bone holder <laughs> to hold this really nicely holding and scoring properly is very important for origami now first of all you make triangle um, hold into half and make it triangle okay like this definitely really need to um, bone folder to score properly because it's quite tough paper then you open it and do the other way and make it a triangle what you are doing now is um, making a score lines that would be guide for you to uh, hold next time. So now you have, it's a bit difficult for this um, pattern I suppose, there is the cross here, you made a cross line. And what you're going to do is, um, you hold into um, half to the point in the middle. So align this score line and this line straight so you can actually score straight like this. And same as the other side, like this. Okay. Then you're going to hold this bit into half again to align that center part all the way like this. Again. Oh, I don't really think I'm doing properly because this is really difficult to see where's the straight because it's not really it actually looks like a straight but it's not really straight where's the straight line okay that's the straight line like this okay it is straight but it doesn't really look straight somehow strange okay ah. yeah, it is straight it's really difficult to see this pattern. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, let me do it again. So that's the straight line here. Yeah, that's it. And same to the other side. And go like this. Okay, and after that you just open it again and hold everything inside like this like this 
this pattern paper is really difficult because it does it's not really this is actually diagonal hearts right so it's really difficult to keep it the straight line i get really confused okay i hope i'm doing right <laughs> it wasn't a really good uh, choice of paper anyway so this is how it looks okay then there is the uh, score line in the middle so you just um infants emphasize this score line again like this because you are going to use the line, this line to open this bit down like this and see you can can you see the uh, triangle this bit and score really really well and score really really well the other side as well and just push and when you push it the point of this bit and this center line is sort of aligning the um the center line that you made yeah and push and score really really well okay then take this bit and the holdings do it like this and the other side is like this and this bit goes back like this See, it looks like a little bit of box now and this flap go in the middle and this one go in the middle and open again and to this score line align the point B and then tuck in and do the same thing like this and you open so you have made one half of the box bit this bit so you simply do the same things for the other side open this and see you see the triangle there <clears throat> and push really well you definitely need a bone folder for this and do the other side do the other side push really really well and push down and school and vanish Making the other side of the box like this and like this. Then again, make another triangle by folding and open and point B to the middle and scroll and vanish. Do it again. Really push hard. That's it. When you open this bit, ta -da! you made the box. Isn't it cute? You can actually put the um, square card inside and you can use this as the envelope. I think it's really cute now this comes out this is made out of 12 toast inches designer series paper and it came out uh, 11 centimeters square this little one is out of six by six inches paper and came out about I think that was a four centimeter actually made with the designer series paper. You can you can make the um, six by six designer series paper after you practice with bigger one. But you really really need to hold um, and score and varnish well. And this will be, this comes out four or oh, five point five centimeters by five point five centimeters. So you probably can put uh, five by five, which is about two inches square, two by two inches 
little card goes perfectly inside like this. So this is how to make this little mini envelope. Thanks for watching. See you later.